Hello, my name is Don, and we're in my family room, and I have a project I'm working on today. I'm going to insulate this wall behind me with Thermofroth spray foam insulation from Foam Supplies. Before I get started, I actually have to do some prep work. I need to use some masking tape around outlets and things like that to protect the foam. I'm also going to put on the proper safety equipment for doing the job, and we're just going to spray the wall, and I'll show you what it looks like. As I remodeled this house, whenever I had the opportunity to open up an outside wall, I tried to replace the insulation that's in there, the fiberglass from 1969, with spray foam insulation. I know I need better insulation in there. The garage on the other side only has one common wall at the inside of the house. In the wintertime, that garage is about 15 to 20 degrees warmer than the outside. What that tells me is that garage is being heated by this room right here. There's a couple really good reasons why it's important to do this wall. First of all, by putting the spray foam insulation up there, it's gonna actually seal that wall completely. Second of all, that's a garage over there. And when you pull your car into the garage, you still have exhaust fumes from the car shutting off and running for a short period of time. By insulating it with spray foam, I'm also gonna have a healthier environment here because I'm not gonna be breathing all that dirty exhaust air that's coming in from the outside. So I'm gonna have a colder garage, a warmer room, a healthier room. So I actually demonstrated a couple different techniques for applying the foam. I started out by putting a tip on the nozzle that caused it to come out in a spray fan pattern, and I could just go straight down through the stud and fill it up. That comes out very nicely. You get a much smoother surface when you do that. But some people prefer to do the second technique where you start out and you picture frame the stud cavity. And for that, I was using a round nozzle, so it just comes out in a cone-shaped pattern. So I picture framed the stud cavity and then filled in in between it. Some people like that method. I'm not as good at it. As you can see, uh, it went out past the studs in a few places. I'm going to have to do a little bit of trimming with the saw. No big deal at all. I think I have it on average of three inches of foam in there, which is going to give me R21 insulation. It's going to be sealed from the garage. When the drywall is on it, nobody will know what it looks like. Isn't that great? <laughs> 